Man, I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. But guys, I've just I, I was check. here first. I was what? I was guys, what are you doing? No, I was here first. Get up. Well, hey, was, come on. Get up. This is serious. I mean, look, I've just written a check here for $10,000. He won't let me sit on the throne. Well, we don't need to worry about that right now. Oh, if you get, if, if you get, collect this $10,000, you buy your own throne. Okay? $10,000. See who's on that? $10,000. Superman. That's right. You guys are going to have to be Superman to get rid of Rodney Mack. This is going to go to anybody that can put Rodney Mack in the hospital. I don't want him to just, I don't want him to just get beaten. I don't want him to shoulders pin one, two, three. $10,000 to anybody that can make Rodney Mack leave the VCA arena in an ambulance. We're gonna have to get it done. We'll get, we can do that. We can do that. We can get out on the just, just tell me now. How are you gonna get it done? You know what, King? Tell the world. You know what? I got, I got cameras here. They're, they're gonna record this. I want this on record. How are you gonna get it done? The Royal Flush is gonna get rid of Rodman. We'll take a chair. We'll take a sludge hammer. Whatever it, it takes. A car. That, a truck. that money is on the line. We need that 10000 We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get out of here. If we have to give Carlito three hundred dollars out of that ten thousand, we're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done. Three hundred dollars. But you know me and Carlito go back a long way. Well, come on, guys. We're to get a you're gonna. Well, I know that. But ten thousand dollars, and you're worried about three hundred dollars. <laughs> Look, you mentioned something a while ago. I don't know how it's gonna happen inside the arena, but I've had everything. I've been thrown over the ropes, out onto a wooden table, had my legs split open by Joe LaDuke. I got run over in a parking lot yeah. by Eddie and Doug Gilbert. Yeah. 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 I mean, I've had everything happen to me over the years, guys. So you got to pull out all the stops. Maybe we you should. can't worry about what the people will think. I mean, you can't even worry about what Channel 3 will think. You've got to get rid of Rodney Mack. $10,000 is waiting on whoever gets rid of him. All you need is proof of Rodney Mack and the avalanche. Right? I need Rodney Mack and an ambulance on his way to the hospital. That's all you need. Can you get it done? We're going to get we it done, King. All right. We got it for you. I got the money right here. All right. We'll take it. You know, the Junior Bay of Championship hasn't really been on my mind lately. You know, no, 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 no. Um, there's been a certain something weighing on my mind because the Junior Bay of Championship, I can invoke my rematch clause whenever I want. But there's been another sudden little something weighing on my mind or at school, at home, even at the gym doing deadlifts, it's weighing on my mind and that's ripping tank to I left the Clarks and Anthony Payne in this ring. And when I think about it, why would I even team up with somebody who calls me a traitor? At that, why would I even subject myself to be on the same side as someone who constantly accuses me of being on the opposite? You see, as for the black cat and the clerks, while they were constantly accusing me of being a traitor, they should have kept a closer eye on Tank. Exactly. That good for nothing, dirty bastard, Tank. And you know, speaking, speaking of Tank, that's the exact reason why I'm out here right now. Please, we keep 
going through this every week with you, Jules. It don't look like that no more. Tank is not alone. He's not alone with this thing at all. He's not alone. Where is Tank worried about this? See, Tank has bigger fish to fry. And the thing about it, Jared, is this. I told you last week, you mess with Tank, you mess with us. You don't just summon the golden goose like that. Travis, the lead, we got to teach him because he do what he won't. He won't think, but you got the real fish right now. Come on, let's have this lead. Demand us, we'll design it. T-shirts, hoodies, polo shirts, face masks, cups, business cards, bags, anything you want design. Heck, we'll design you. Let us design for you. Designs on demand. Contact us today. We're here at John 14, 13, the best barbershop in the city of Memphis. Oh, the best. Yes, they're the I best. On Shelby Drive and Gilwell, across the street from McDonald's. Go get you something to eat, then come get your hair cut. You gotta come here. Look, Malik, Tavis, they'll treat you like royalty. Right here at John 14, 13 Barbershop. Come see my man, Don. He's the best in the barber world. You know what? We need to go inside right now. Uh, 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 uh. I got hair. What about me? They do braids and they style as well, Wolverine. Come on, we gotta be ready for Friday night. Hello, my name is Courtney Williams and I am a self-taught nail tech located in Memphis, Tennessee, Whitehaven area. I am the owner of Nail Girls Club. I do offer full sets, pedicures, acrylic toe sets, and official manicures, all from my service. Um, you can visit me at Nail Girls Club on Instagram and on Facebook and you can also contact me at the number below. Thank you so much. Tag team action. Little T starting things up for his team. First tag already made. Brooks tagging out. In comes Tavis. Tavis, the inaugural television champion. Of course, the longest running one as well. Won that television title for nearly 10 months. Or losing it to the Black Cat. Back at BCA's checkmate. Starting things off for the Royal Flush. Headlock applied to Lil T, but Lil T pushes him off. 
Travis fires back with a shoulder tackle and a arm. Put Little G down and drop down unsuccessful. Travis jumps right over him. Leapfrog by Little G and a Japanese arm drag. Travis coming back, gets hit with a hip toss. Little T in control, calf kick. Sends down Tavis, Tavis goes towards the corner. Irish whip from Little T to Tavis, charges in the corner and another splash. All by Snapmare. See Little T with his problems with the Royal Flush as of late. We've seen the Pharaoh Brooks constantly hitting on Little T's wife. Newly wed couple from this year. Not even able to celebrate their honeymoon without Brooks getting in the way. Michael Clark with a cover. Gets a two count. Early on in this matchup. Tavis fights back with a break to the eyes. Grabs Michael Clark in that front face lock, brings him back and a tag in. And in comes Malik. A definite veteran in this matchup. Fans like to call him the sidekick. I show you he's anything but that. 20 plus years of experience in the squared circle. One of the most gifted wrestlers on the VCA roster. Whoa! Speaking of gifted. Michael Clark in the victory roll. Does not get a victory. Couple shots in. On Malik anyway, big back elbow. Look with that counter and a drop kick. A wrist lock and a tag out to the Pharaoh Brooks. 2021 Velocity Cup winner. The Pharaoh Brooks. Cash in the opportunity for a tag team titles. Which they won and lost and won and then lost and won again. They tag out to Jared X. Rawlings with a wrist lock. Continuing. Michael Clark's hold. Finishing up with a spinning wheel kick. Jared eyes on the prize. Uh oh. In comes Little T, tags himself in. Jared saying, what's up with that? Put his animosity aside. Help take down the Royal Flush. The little team to get his hands on him. Just as much as Jared X Rawlings does. Jared a little annoyed in the corner. Jared had his eyes on him. Oh, good and sink. Little T crashes on the mat and a tag out to Tavis. Ooh, and a clothesline. So Jared X Rawlings murmur in the corner that it wouldn't never happen. He wouldn't have tagged himself in. Shots to the back from Tavis. A knee across the back. Grabbing the referee. Oh! Grabbing the referee's attention, diverting it towards Michael Clark in the corner while the greatest on earth attack Little T. Referee blind to the assault from the Royal Flush. Brooks messing with Little T's wife. This is at ringside. Oh my goodness!
I love that VCA has some good hungry wrestlers that are ready to put Memphis wrestling back on the map where it should be. I like to come for the entertainment. I enjoy coming to support the wrestlers. But I'm giving a shout out to Tara Ray to be continued. I enjoy that Memphis Wrestling has come back to Memphis and I really enjoy that it's family oriented and uh, everybody's really nice. What I enjoy most about BCA is the family energy that it brings and the passion that the wrestlers bring to the ring is not like any other guy I've ever seen. Man, there's some hungry guys here. They are some of the hungriest wrestlers I have seen in years and I've seen wrestling all over the place. I really enjoy it. BCA is number one. Out to the midsection from Brooks. Whips a little T off the ropes. Little T comes back, grabs the head. Springboard Bulldog. Brooks is down. Little T is down. Really? Urging his partner to get up and get a tag in. Aaron X. Rawlings reaching his hand out for a tag. Brooks with a tag to Tavis and a tag to Jared X. Rawlings. Jared with a front drop kick. Tavis in with that swinging neck breaker. Moonsault. Standing one. Malik in there to break things up. Michael Clark. Comes and attacks Malik. Two illegal contestants in this matchup. Brooks also not the legal man. The referee trying to get control. Little T in there, even the score. We've seen the Clarks and the greatest on earth in their rivalry these past two months. Malik goes to the outside, ready for a strike on Michael Clark. Little T continues his meeting on Brooks. Jared X. Rawlings getting the fans hyped up. Inside the ring, Tavis. Oh, going for a sleeper hold. Oh. Can he clinch it in? Jared going off the turnbuckle. Rolls him up. They got him. Match over, but Royal Flush not done. But members of the greatest on earth inside the ring. Attacking Jared X. Rawlings at Clark's on the outside, trying to get back up on their own feet. Jared goes to the outside, courtesy of the greatest on earth. Michael Clark and Little T charging in. Trying to take down the greatest on earth. Ooh, Tavis with a big strike. Oh my goodness. Massive clothesline of Michael Clark. Tavis is not done. Jared S. Rawlings leaving. The Clarks left for dead in the ring. Oh! Double knee fake. Oh no. Brooks, what are you doing, Brooks? Brooks, what are you doing? Pile driver on the chair, on the stairs. We're here at John 1413, the best barbershop in the city of Memphis. The yes, they're the best. On Shelby Drive and get well, across the street from McDonald's. Go get you something to eat, then come get your hair cut. You gotta come here. Look, Malik, Tavis, they'll treat you like royalty. Right here at John 1413 Barbershop. Come see my man Don. He's the best in the barber world. You know what? We need to go inside right now. Uh, 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 uh. I got hair. What about me? They do braids and they style as well, Wolverine. Come on, we gotta be ready for Friday night. Designs on demand. Demand us, we'll design it.
t-shirts, hoodies, polo shirts, face masks, cups, business cards, bags, anything you want design. Heck, we'll design you. Let us design for you. Designs on demand. Contact us today. Hello, my name is Courtney Williams and I am a self-taught nail tech located in Memphis, Tennessee, Whitehaven area. I am the owner of Nail Girls Club. I do offer full sets, pedicures, acrylic toe sets, and official manicures, all from my service. Um, you can visit me at Nail Girls Club on Instagram and on Facebook and you can also contact me at the number below. Thank you so much. Hey, Mom. Oh, yeah, I already know about Grandma. I know she needs her taxes done. Oh, she needs financial preparation for her church as well? Are you kidding me? Legal documents prepared as well? Oh, my gosh. Hey, Spencer. Hey, Spencer. Look, hey, I on. just overheard your conversation. Why don't you go to Dockery Financial Services? They'll help you prepare financial statements. They'll help with legal documents, last will and testament. They'll even help you with a resume. That's what I need. Dockery Financial Services. Mom, I figured it out. Call Dockery Financial Services right now. Why are you even still on the phone with me? Call them. $10,000. Can you believe it? 10 big ones, man. So the only thing we have to do is get rid of Rodney Mac. That's all. That's all we have to do, get rid of Rodney Mac. And you know what, Malik? We can take a trip to Las Vegas. We can get a, we can get a throne. We can get, we get our own throne. Plenty of women. Plenty. Man, ten thousand. That's all. It. Get rid of Rodney. That's all. Wait, Get rid of Rodney. It's made out of cash. Cash. Do you know what that means? We can cash this thing right now. We can cash this ourselves without even doing anything. Anything. Yep. Yeah, Easy. Now, I'll just hold on to this until the job's done. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. The job is to get Rodney Mac in an ambulance, leaving the VCA arena on the way to the hospital. All right. All right. All right. Then you guys can come and take care of this check. Okay. See you guys. All right. Don't catch it. Why don't you talk too much? Television title on the line. The Golden Goose of the Royal Flush Tank. Getting a shot at the television championship against the Black Cat. And we've seen Tank win every single championship except for the television title. If he wins this, he will be considered a Grand Slam champion. The Golden Goose always looking for new gold. Albeit if it is silver in the form of the television title. The championship nonetheless, and the championship he has yet to claim. Can he do it tonight against Black Cat? Black Cat is a, a feline who has lots more experience than Tank in that squared circle, but does not guarantee him a win. We've seen Tank win the most prestigious championship in Memphis in that VCA Heavyweight Championship less than two years into his professional wrestling career. To say he's a different breed than most folks would be an understatement. Black Cat, oldest trick in the book. Oh! Tank trying to get it back up in the corner. Black Cat charging in, hits the turnbuckle. Tank dodges out to the outside. His ear. Referee on seven before Tank decides to step into the ring. Black Cat showing good sportsmanship, letting Tank get back inside the ring nice and clean. Tank looking for a Greco Roman knuckle lock. Some call it the test of strength. Let's see who is the stronger man. Or in this case, feline versus machine.
Machine in full gear. Pulling Black Cat all the way over, but don't underestimate the Black Cat. Coming right back up, whoa! Beautiful sunset flip from the top of the shoulders of Tank. Tank rolls up in the schoolboy. Gets a two count. Swing and a miss. Black Cat catches those arms. Backslide. Gets another two count. Back and forth two counts from these two gentlemen. Ooh, a big boot! Hey, Mom. Yeah, I already know about Grandma. I know she needs her taxes done. Oh, she needs financial preparation for her church as well? Are you kidding me? Legal documents prepared as well? Oh, my gosh. Hey, Spencer. Hey, Spencer. Look, hey, I just on. overheard your conversation. Why don't you go to Dr. Financial Services? They'll help you prepare financial statements. They'll help with legal documents, last will and testament. They'll even help you with a resume. That's what I need, Dockery Financial Services. Mom, I figured it out. Call Dockery Financial Services right now. What are you even still on the phone with me? Call them. Uh oh, and he, from the back comes Jared X. Rawlings. Jared wants his hands on, on Tank. Referee trying to make this a fair matchup. Black Cat picks up Tank and a low blow. A low blow from Tank. Oh no, Tank hooks the arms. Double underhook, face buster. And we got a new champion. Well, well, well. Yeah, VCA. Nobody here in Memphis. Nobody here in this company uh, can get rid of me. Cause I have power for power, the baddest dog around. And now I hear, since you can't get the job done, ah, you got a bounty out on the dog. Ah, you got a bounty out on me. $10,000, ten a man or animal that can tame the beast. Well, I hear you got one. The barbarian. Ah, the barbarian, one of the biggest, baddest men to ever lace up a pair of boots. Well, Big Daddy, come on with it, cause I ain't about ready to let go of my crown. That's why I am, and I'll always be, the VCA champion, world's heavyweight champion, pound for pound, the baddest dog the world round.